Ellen Perosha. Two years. Wow, time flies when you're drunk. And, and you can see how things have, have just spiraled out of control. It's wonderful to be here. It's a treat for me to get out of the house because I am sort of a shut-in lately. And welcome to our anniversary celebrators, Trauma Flintstone. You got yourself a man and he stuck by your side, right? How long have you been together now? Six? Six years! That's like 60 years in, uh, straight, in the straight world. Because you know how gay people are. We're very horny and we sleep around and, you know, monogamy is not in our vocabulary as a general. And I'm not making any assumptions about your relationship. I'm sure you're very platonic. I'm mostly interested in the guy in the back row with the large protrusion in front of your pants. I mean, I'm, call me curious, but um, I'm from the Tenderloin, and usually th that would be, you would be detained at the TSA if you, <laughs> what are doing that? I'm gonna detain, I'm on my way to being a comedic star. I'm gonna be performing at Rooster Teeth Feathers in Sunnyvale starting this Thursday, so. I want all five of you to get on a bus and head down to Sunnyvale and rip You know, if you look at Honey Boo Boo now and imagine her 40 years in the future, and here it is. She'd probably have a penis too by then. <laughs> that go go juice of hers, Mountain Dew and Red Bull. I think we know where that's headed. Mountain Dew and Red Bull's gonna be bourbon and methamphetamines and by, the, by the fourth grade. And I, you know, I don't. I, I, I can understand it's a challenge to raise a child in Alabama and uh, keep your diabetes in check and all the other stuff that you got to think about when you live down there. <laughs> and you have to raise money. They're constantly raising money. Uh, I'm on her Facebook page now. I get all these invitations. I don't know if they're for real. But, um, you know, they're going to a wrestling match or some shit like that. They're always get, trying to get money. And, you know, I have to get money too. As they said so many times, you'd be surprised how much it costs to look so cheap. <laughs> and this wig and this sequined uh, ensemble that I'm wearing, on my tight salary, it's very difficult to uh, pull it all together. And I did ask for a raise at the stud, and they promptly said no. No, bitch. Get more people to come in here if you think you're worth it. So, um, I, just, I just have to sing a, a fundraising song tonight to raise money for my SAT scores that have been plummeting. Here's the tip bucket, the notorious tip bucket. And um, if I don't make my goal of $25, I'm going to be beaten by my pimp later. So, uh, so, give a girl some hope. And this song is called Dollars Are a Queen's Best Friend. Strictly platonic. 
Masonic, we almost made it. Are you better bet? Cause the best tips come from you. What happened there, Dirty? Did you have a dirty needle back there? DJ Dirty Needles. <laughs> it's Dirty Horn, honey. You got a smudge of 49 seconds left. A smudge? A smudge. See, the, and all the more reason, you know, I need to get... If I could only raise the $25, I could buy some of those, she fa get some new those fancy wipes that you use for Radio Shack. <laughs> you know, that wipe all the... Um, or she could just get some new CDs to burn. <sighs> I have to help people. I have to get those in Russia. Well, I almost made it through the whole song. Wow. At least the microphone's not dead yet. But we'll see. I love holding phallic objects that don't work. It reminds me of my dad. Uh, no! My dad that nobody ever molested me in my formative years. And God knows I tried. I would wear lingerie or my dad abandoned the family. Thank God. He, he left to go to a, he went to Montana to become a pirate. A butte pirate. So, insert innuendo. <laughs> but my mom's still around. She's actually here tonight. She's the one outside with the God Hates Bag sign. So, don't give her any tickets. I told her she could do the recycling. She's mad at me because I had to put her, well, the prop, she's older. She's really old. I told her, Mother, you're at the age right now where you really shouldn't be living alone. So I decided it was time to put her somewhere where they could look after her. And I took her out for a nice home drive in the country. And uh, I was looking for a rest home to put my mom in. And uh, let's call them what they are. And they're very expensive. I couldn't believe how much they were asking to take care of my senior mother. Some of these rest homes. It was outrageous. I couldn't afford spending that kind of money. So I ended up leaving her at a rest area instead. <laughs> She'll be fine. She's fought with raccoons before. <laughs> I pity the little creature that corners my mother. She'll crush its self-esteem. <laughs> You look like a two dollar whore in that cheap fur! <laughs> I, I, that's, that's my garbage can! 